Imagine you load up your Assassin's Creed Origin safe and suddenly one of the best weapons, in my opinion the best bow, is gone. Not in your inventory anymore. Well this happened to some players. So how the heck is this possible? And there's way more to this weapon, the Jackal's Gaze. An updated analysis on my bold claim that this would be a weapon from the Anubis set. Does it have to do with the disappearance or is it part of another upgraded Anubis gear set? Yes, 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 this is going to be an interesting one so let's unpack it in this video. If you like that then a like would be super appreciated and let's go. With a quality of 95, an insane level 4 precision perk and with a level 3 bleeding on hit perk giving you a chance of 30% that the enemy will bleed which is extremely likely because you shoot a ton of arrows onto one target. On top of that you also get health back per hit. And again, this is really nice because you hit a ton of arrows. So yes, losing this weapon really sucks and it's not that people accidentally sold it or dismantled it because that is not possible with the Jackal's Gaze. This weapon is one of the few weapons that you have to keep. You get it at a level 15 side quest called a Smoke Over Water and after that you keep it forever until Ubisoft takes it from you. In my recent video regarding the Trial of the Gods, I told you about the disappearance of this weapon, the Jackal's Gaze, and asked if you still got it or if you lost it as well. A ton of you let me know, thanks for that. And I also got some proof as well. Most of you seem to still have this item, but some lost it and people can of course say that, but it's very easy to see that with just two pictures. Here we see the warrior bow equipment window from Petter, and I hope I pronounced his name right on PSN, he is Divi99. The bow should be there because again, you can destroy or sell it. And yes, he has completed the smoke over water side quest as you see right here. Thanks better for sending me this, but he is not alone. Over on Reddit, we got a post from Nick Neck Nucky. I want to say that again, Nick Neck Nucky. But yeah, sad news, his Jekyll's Gaze also disappeared. If we move to the official Assassin's Creed form, we got 50 Frank who lost the best bow in the game as well. And Ubisoft did respond to him. So Ubisoft said that it had to do with the database, that you can rebuild that to restore data or also perform a reinstallation. If that didn't get your bow back, then he should create a ticket. So 50 Frank tried what Ubisoft suggested, but it did not help. The bow is still missing. Creating a ticket also did not work because the Italian support could not put the weapon back into his account. Meaning that the best bow in the game is probably lost forever. What a weird story right on the heels of my bold claim. You probably saw that video right, if not a quick summary. I got tipped by I'm Notorious that the Jackal's Gaze could be the vinyl weapon of the Anubis set that you of course get from the Trials of the Gods. Every boss gives you a new weapon, in the end you get four to get the Anubis outfit. So I analyzed the proof and thought whoa. This looks exactly like the bow on the pre-launch live stream where they showed the Vu Anubis set. The bow has Anubis in the description. It is a warrior bow just like the lost weapon in the set we need. It's called Jackal's Gaze. And as I already told you, you cannot sell the Jackal's Gaze just like the other Anubis weapons in this set. As I already addressed in my Anubis outfit video telling you how you can get it like later on in this month and also going more in depth on the kind of miscommunication with the Trials of the Gods. I said there that I should have said in my video regarding the Jackal's Gaze that this weapon could be part of the set and not that it totally was for sure. Again I learned I will improve that in my future videos. But now with the news that this weapon is disappearing, you kind of think that Ubisoft is now taking this weapon away because they want to reward you with this weapon in the Triple God event. If you're not familiar there will be a Triple God event later this month where we will get the fourth item of the set to get this brilliant outfit. And while the timing of the disappearance of this weapon is really, really interesting, I mean, what the heck? Ubisoft, in the end, trolled us really hard because the vinyl weapon is probably not the Jackal's Gaze, although it will be super similar to this best bow. As I told you, I thought I looked at everything, had a ton of proof, and I really thought it had a high chance of being the vinyl piece of the set. The fact that there were only three trials in the end also made it more likely that we would not get this lost weapon from a trial of the god. But when making the Anubis video, I looked at the inventory icon during the pre-launch stream of this bow we should get. And yes, it looked like the Jackal's Gaze, except for one thing, the handle of the bow. If we compare both icons, we see that the Jackal's Gaze has a red handle in the icon and the weapon during the pre-launch livestream of Assassin's Creed Origins doesn't. Wait a second, remember another weapon that 
looks exactly like an Anubis weapon, but has a red touch. Yes, yes, I'm talking about the best weapon you've never seen before, the Sword of the Duet. That player, Pays the Priest, suddenly had in his inventory the best regular sword in the game that you cannot get. If you remember my video on this super interesting weapon, Pays the Priest got it after losing all his items in the ambush at Sea Glitch that also gave him 9 million coins and his sword. So the looks of the weapon are exactly the same, only the sword of the duet has some red touches, just like the Jackal's Gaze if we compare it to the other Anubis weapon that we will probably get from the Trial of the God. And the quality level of the upgraded sword is 95, not 94, just like the Jackal's Gaze. No, you cannot sell this item as well, just like the Jackal's Gaze. I think we've stumbled upon an upgraded version of the Anubis gear set. A set with enhanced weapons because the Sword of the Duet is a better version of the Conductor of Souls that we got from the Trials of the Gods right now. As you see here, it has a 1 level higher combo multiplier perk and a health on hit instead of a health on kill. If we look at the stats from the Jackal's Gaze, it also has a level 4 and a level 3 perk and a health on hit. So let me do a prediction here because I think that during the Trials of the Gods, the Triple God event, we will get a new warrior bow that looks exactly the same like the Jackal's Gaze but without the red stuff and it will have a health on kill perk instead of a health on hit and a level 3 precision instead of a level 4 that we see on the Jackal's Gaze right now. So two level 3 perks just like the Conductor of Souls and a health on kill perk not a health on hit. So this new bow is probably what the Conductor of Souls is to the Sword of the Duet. The difference is that we already have the Jackal's Gaze so probably no reason to use this new warrior bow. But it makes a lot of sense right that there are upgraded versions of all the Anubis weapons that just have a red touch to the weapon and have slightly better perks and a 95 quality level instead of a 94. Again this upgraded Anubis set is just something that I kind of see right now happening. Um, but it sure is interesting that we have two upgraded versions of the Anubis weapons. Again, no words on how to get the Sword of the Duet, the weapon that Aya is using in the Ambush at Sea mission. And that is what both the Jackal's Gaze and the Sword of the Duet have in common. They are linked to side missions. And while we can't get the Sword of the Duet yet, we know about its existence. And that's probably the reason why it ended up with Paste the Priest, because he was playing as Aya when the glitch happened and she happened to have the sword. So he got the inventory that Aya had at that moment. While normally in that mission you can never swing a sword because you are on a ship. What the heck is going on Ubisoft? It sure is interesting. I really hope there's more to it and that it's also like plenty to the game because again why was the best bow on the ground in a burnt village? There has to be a story there, right? I hope that everyone that lost their Jekyll's Gaze is getting it back. You will probably have a slightly less interesting warrior bow from the Vinyl Trials of the Gods event that will make it even more sad that you lost the real best bow. What do you think of the mystery surrounding the Jekyll's Gaze? How the heck can it suddenly disappear? And why is it not part of the Anubis set? Will we really get a less interesting weapon that looks the same? Two level 3 perks and the health on kill, mark my words. Of course, I'm curious to hear what you think in the comments down below. Subscribe to stay up to date on everything Assassin's Creed Origins. I will have an in-depth look at the shield of Anubis. I know some of you have been asking about it, so I will have that up really, really soon. Check out my video on the Anubis outfit and also going in-depth on the Trials of the Gods and the miscommunication. Like this video to support the channel. Thanks for watching and I will speak to you next time. Goodbye.